Hey, let me, hey, 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 you guys, let me, let me ask, let me ask you this question. Have you ever thought about how much that uh, Captain Bro America can drink before he like actually got drunk? Well, I thought about it. So I think I figured it out, let's do it. Nah, I'm just kidding, let's do some science. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about superhero metabolisms from you lovely viewers. One of the common examples is from Captain America The First Avenger, where a newly enhanced Steve Rogers complains to Agent Carter that the super soldier serum made it impossible for him to get drunk. Metabolism isn't just some health buzzword though, it's the general term for all the chemical reactions happening in your body to keep you alive. It's kind of like your body's chemical symphony, and it does have something to do with breaking down alcohol. 95% of the alcohol that you drink is metabolized or broken down by the liver. The rest of it comes out in, in sweat and urine and blah, your breath and pretty much just oozes out of you. So if Captain America has an enhanced metabolism, it wouldn't make it necessarily impossible for him to get drunk, just much more difficult. Maybe Steve Rogers just never actually tested his metabolism out. He just figured that the normal amount that he usually drank just didn't work anymore. So that's where our calculations can come in. Hail Hydra. Most people calculate drunkenness by how much of your blood is actual booze, your blood alcohol content. And when you're calculating this, you can use something like the Widmark formula to find out how drunk you are. The Widmark formula is an experimentally derived formula that factors in water in the blood, the number of standard drinks that you've had, a conversion factor, a body water constant, your weight, and subtracting from that your metabolism factor and the period over which you are drinking. So to get Captain America's blood alcohol content, we first have to know his weight. And according to Marvel, Steve Rogers is a beefy boy around 240 pounds or 109 kilograms. Men also process alcohol more slowly than women do, so we'll factor that in. And look at this, we actually have a metabolism factor inside of our equation already, so what is Captain America's? Well, according to Agent Peggy Carter in The First Avenger, Captain America has a metabolism four times that of the average man. Knowing that and his weight, we can start plugging and chugging numbers into our equation to see how much Captain America can chug, specifically his drinking period and how many standard drinks he is having while chugging. Hashtag CAPTCHA. Uh. But what is drunk for Captain America? Well, since he has the same amount of blood as the average person, it should be his detoxification rate that is the limiting factor here. In other words, if the average person his size gets drunk at a blood alcohol content of 0.20, then Captain America should too. But getting to that number, that's the difficult part. Captain America brings the party to you, too. Now we can start plugging and chugging into the Widmark formula for different drinking situations to see how much Captain America can actually drink before getting drunk. Well, how about a day drinking session? Over 12 hours, Captain America could drink 60 standard drinks. Over 24 hours, Captain America could drink 107 standard drinks. That's 4.75 liters of 80 proof liquor, 15.8 liters or four gallons of wine, and uh, an entire keg by himself. How about something a little bit more hashtag cap chug? If Captain America wanted to get drunk in one minute, he would have to drink 4.6 liters or about a gallon of beer, or 1.9 liters, about a half gallon of wine, or, oh, Half a liter of 80 proof liquor or about a pint in under a minute. <laughs> and to get Captain America drunk realistically, it would have to be on wine or liquor because the volume of the human stomach is such, here you go buddy. The volume of the human stomach is such that Captain America would not be able to physically drink enough beer quickly enough to get drunk before his stomach exploded. So that's what it would take a superhero with an enhanced metabolism to get drunk. Maybe Captain America, when he says impossible, he just means that it takes too long or it's too expensive, even though the army owes him millions technically in back pay. Or it's too stomach explodey to get the requisite blood alcohol content. And remember, Captain America is the good guy. Maybe it's impossible for him to get drunk because it's impossible for the character to get drunk. I mean, can you imagine in the Avengers, Hey, I'm per there's only one God, ma'am, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't just like that. No, it's impossible because of the character. 
not because of metabolism, because science. Da -da -da -da, hashtag cap chug blitter. Thank you so much for watching. You know, uh, man, I think I think Black Panther could just run headfirst into Captain America's shield and they'd both be fine. Since they're both made of vibranium, vibranium suit and a vibranium shield that absorb vibrations and kinetic energies, and not only should bullets hit the shield and then just kind of drop, but uh, Black Panther could run straight at the shield, jump at it, claw, and it was, he would hit it just and, and just softly, softly fall down. Doesn't make exactly for a good superhero fight, does it? But physics. <laughs>